Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the car review. So last time we looked at a lich or a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I'll stop. You you can leave now. <laughs> so anyway, today we are looking at Calcab, Mal branch of the Burning Abyss. So Calcab is of course a dark fiend effect level three. It's obvious. It is fourteen hundred attack, zero defense. So once again, you can go ahead and go mass chameleon, summon this make like a black rose if you want to you know it's it's doable because you know its effect would be negated so yeah he wouldn't die <laughs> you know like all the other burning abyss you know and there's, you could tell most not burning abyss but its effect being negated by the summoning of mass command so you can go into yazi you can go into black rose so you can just like with um a lich so uh let's go over its effect and determine whether this card is good or should be ran all right of course, if you control a monster that's not a Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. You can only use one of the following effects of Calcab, Mile Branch of the Burning Abyss, per turn, only once that turn. You can normal spell and traps, you can special summon this card from your hand. Alright, so, basic copy and paste, cut, dry, freaking Burning Abyss effect. So, what's his own individual effect? If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one set spell or trap card on the field and return that target to the hand. <sighs> <sighs> this card is also the butts. It's also the butts. Like, all right. So, besides your tuner, the other two burning abyss monsters that you get are the butts. A lich is the butts, and this card is also the butts. Like, really, really? That's it. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you target a set spell or trap card in the field, not destroy it like you would want to do. No, you just put it back in the hand. Just a temporary little stun. Ooh, what? And really, a set spell or trap. So, if you send this to the graveyard and activate its effect and target a set card, and your opponent chains to it, and that's a, that's a continuous trap, or chains to it at the time that they want to play it, then this guy doesn't even, you know, resolve because it has to, it won't be set anymore. So, for example, if you go send cow cap cow cap effect, target this set, um, chain vanities, <laughs> you know. Then these would be flipped face up, therefore it's not set anymore. And that's the thing. If it if it said target a spell or trap card on the field and I touch their hand, maybe I would give forgive it. Because maybe you can go like, alright, well my opponent's locking me down with vanity's emptiness. Um foolish burial, send cal cab, cal cab, bounce your vanity's emptiness, special summon a whole bunch, kick your butt, you know, and now I'm up on resources, now I'm winning. Yeah, you sure got sure you got your vanities, but you know, you sure you want to activate it when I got, you know, my Dante and my Virgil and I'm just, you know. But no, it's a set card. It's a set freaking card. So you can go send Cal Cab, Cal Cab effect, target your set, chain reckless, draw two. You get nothing. Like, and returning it to the hand? Really? Why is it not, why not destruction? Why not destroy? Why can't you just target the set card and destroy it? Alucard destroys. How come you don't destroy? You know? Why? And, and, and did I say set card? I meant set spell and trap. So not, even if your opponent sets a monster, you can't be like, all right, well, um, I know that you have a... Uh, um, you know, Falco face down, I'm doing your Shadals, I know you have Falco face down, so I'm gonna send Cow Cap, Cow Cap, destroy your Falco, go ahead and resummon it, and then I'm just gonna attack it, you can activate one of the Falco's effects per turn only once that turn, so when I attack you, and you flip, you won't get your flip effect, because you already activated your graveyard effect, so I kill you, and damn, I'm done, I killed you, I took out your Falco without anything bad happening, nope, just set Spell Trap on the field, put it back in hand, nope, just, no, no, you don't need this card, I swear. Like, the tuner has no effect. A lich has a shitty break the skill effect. And this card has a shitty Alucard-ish type effect. You just, you just spin back a spell or trap, a set spell or trap. Set. You, could, you can't even spin back like a field spell or something, you know? Like, oh, they have like a tower on the field. Well, I'm gonna send Cow Cap and spin your field spell so during your stamina phase, the field spell won't be there so you don't get to go ahead and put it back with your tower. No, set, set, put it back. So I guess you're supposed to summon Virgil, Virgil effect, discard this, spin something back, this set, take one of their sets, put it back in their hand, hopefully, a, I don't know, a D prison? Like, like really? If it was a breakthrough skill, they would have played it on your Virgil. If it was a, a Fiendish Chain, they would have played it on your Virgil. If it was a Bondless, they would have played it on your Virgil. 
And if it was a Capulse, they would have played it on your Virgil. If it was Warren, they would have played it on your Virgil. So what card would you be able, set card would you be able to spin and actually get this off without something hitting your play? It would be have to be Deep Prison. It would have to be Deep Prison. So you're spinning back Deep Prison. So you discard, you discard the Cal Cab, spin something back, Cal Cab, put that Deep Prison back in your hand, hit you for 25. Then next turn, you're just going to take the Deep Prison set it. I'm going to try to... I'm not, if I do have another cow cap, hopefully I do, I can spin that D-Prison again and get for more damage. But if not, I'm going to discard something, another Burning Abyss. Well, hopefully something decent, you know, like I got the other Burning Abyss. So, uh, you know, as long as I don't discard my Tuner because he won't get anything. As long as I don't discard a Lich because he's just not that good because we already went over that last review. And this, I can spin a set card. I can put it back in your hand. Well, not spin, but pounce a, a set card, set spell and trap back to your hand. And... And then, of course, the, you know, Skarm, Graph, and Skarm, they're, uh, Skarm, Graph, and Sir, they're fine with this card. But, uh, yeah, so if I don't discard this card, I'm going to run right into the card. So I'm going to go, okay, effect, you know, discard, whatever, spin something back, attack, and then I get the deep prison. So unless I keep getting these cow caps to keep spinning back that, I mean, bouncing that card back to your hand, it's not, I'm not doing anything with this guy. I'm not doing anything. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't let you plus at all. He's not, he's not plussing you anything. He's not giving you anything. It's not like Graf, you know, summoned from the, I think it's, I think Graf is the graveyard, sir is the deck, or vice versa. It's not like, you know, sir, you know, sir is, I mean, it's not like Skarm, which Skarm is graveyard, you plus, you know, you don't, you don't get anything. Bouncing a card from your opponent's field to their hand is the same resource. So your opponent's not negging. So you're not really getting anything out of it. So once again, another bad burning abyss. It's not it's not worth it. Don't run it. It's not worth it. You now, right now the burning abyss deck all I'm seeing is you just run your three, your tuner, which I'm still not sure how many you should run of that either, but I guess three just to get the most consistent possible and with how Virgil is consistent as possible because he is the bite in the deck besides the background, so I guess. Uh, you know, Dante Virgil, Sewer Guides, Crane Cranes, because Crane Cranes are actually good. You know, Crane Crane summons something back when Graveyard's effect negated. So you wouldn't die. You can exceed uh, into, you know, Dante or Zen Mains or something. Or you can, uh, you know, if you summon back the Tuner, you can, that's a, you know, that's a one card Virgil right there. So Crane Crane, um, Mathematician if you want to. You know, nah. But not these two. Not not Elitch and not Calcab. You don't need them. Not necessary. So tell me what you guys think about Calcab in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Um, well, the Burning Beast, they got two monsters and a trap card. So I And the tuner. Well, three monsters, the tuner. And then the trap card. So I guess we'll go ahead and look at the trap card. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.